I'm going to show you a great way that you can handle collisions in your games in GameMaker. This is part 12 of a series that I'm doing on GameMaker, but if this is your first video, don't feel like you have to go back and watch all the other ones. So just to show you what I have going on, uh, of course, in the last video, we made a little collision system with uh, these blocks right here. But now I've made this little room, and notice I can go right over the walls, right over these boxes in the couch. And so we're going to add collision to these walls in a way that really makes sense. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Game Maker, and I have my room here that we're working with. I have an instance layer. This is my object player and two walls. I have two tile layers. One is for the ground, and the other is for just the, uh, the building stuff, uh, the walls, and anything I want collidable. Uh, and we're not really doing anything with the background. So, first thing I want to do is go to my object wall. And I guess just to show you my object player, in the step event, this is the movement code. It's just checking a place meeting, uh, just like we did in the last video. Uh, you can copy that if you want. Uh, okay, first thing I want to do, though, in this video is change the name of object wall to object solid. And that'll make more sense later on. You don't have to check solid in this video for how we're handling collisions. Your system might need that, but ours doesn't for, uh, for this example. Uh, we're also going to change the sprite. I made this SPR under slash solid, and I want you to do this too. It's middle centered. Um, it's just a 32 by 32 red square. That's all it is. And uh, I'm going to change this sprite object solid to, uh, uh, to, that, to that sprite. I'm going to change, change that up there. Okay. Now in our object player, make sure that your uh, place meeting is set to object solid. Now in Game Maker, it, it, this was object wall. Uh, but uh, GameMaker will change these values for you when you change the name of resources, which is really nice. So, like, if we change Object Solid to Object um, Waffle, for whatever reason, uh, notice it changed it to Object Waffle. So, that's nice, but we do want it to be Object Solid. Okay, that was just some prep work. Now, let's handle collision. Since we already have collision with our... Um, with those walls from the last video. Notice we collide with it, we're not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna show you how you can implement this into these, uh, these tile layers. I'm gonna delete these two that we have now, and I'm gonna take an object solid, and I'm going to place it right here. I'm gonna zoom in, you can hold control and use the scroll wheel of your mouse, and you can change the size of any object within the room editor. So if we run the game, look at this big square, and I'm colliding with it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of this to where it kind of uh, works as a, as a wall here. Now, you might have to change your grid up a little bit. So I'm going to change this to 8x8. Eight eight. I don't mind the grid, but I do when it's not working in my, in my favor. So it doesn't always have to be perfect, uh, but it does need to work here. So I'm going to do this. Now, if we go ahead and, and run the game... Um, of course, it's working. We do have uh, collidable walls here, but notice it's, uh, it's still visible. We don't want it to be visible. That's an easy fix. You just open up Object Solid, and where it says Visible right here, uncheck that. Run the game again, and check it out. We have collidable walls here. And you can change the, uh, the size of it in the room editor. You know, if you're kind of clipping through and you don't want that, just kind of get it to where uh, it, it, it's at something that you like. So let's uh, finish off the room here. We'll just add another wall. Now I'm doing this so far with two, with two object solids or walls, whatever you want to call it. Um, now we're probably going to need about five here. So two more. Put one here and then one over here. I really like to do this. Now um, there are other ways. You can make certain tiles collidable or even certain layers collidable. That's another way that you can that you can handle this. There are a lot of ways to achieve the same effect in Game Maker. Now notice I'm putting it over the couch and then I'm going to put it over the uh, the boxes here. And now when we run the game, um, all this is collidable now, <clears throat> which is super cool. So go out here. Isn't that awesome? So like if we had a gun, we could make it um, shoot, and then those bullets would destroy whenever they collide with, uh, with the wall. Uh, that way it wouldn't go through the building. 
But there you go. So that is a really cool way that you can handle collisions in GameMaker. So that's all I got for you today.